A civilian convoy journeying to bring Christmas gifts to Filipino troops stationed in remote outposts in the West Philippine Sea cut short its trip after being shadowed by a Chinese vessel. Yes, Neil, the civilian convoy to the West Philippine Sea decided to return back to El Nido, Palawan after being shadowed by a China Coast Guard vessel on Sunday afternoon. Organizers said the Chinese vessel started shadowing MV Capitan Felix Oka at around 3.40 p.m. on Sunday south of Kayumangi Bank. The civilian vessel was supposed to head to the vicinity waters of Ayungin Shoal as part of the Christmas gift-giving activity of the Ati Nito Coalition. The BRP Melchor Aquino of the Philippine Coast Guard or PCG escorted the MV Capitan Felix Oka, the media contingent aboard the BRP Melchor Aquino, which includes Inquirer.net, witnessed that the mothership started to return to the direction of El Nido at about 4 p.m. due to the Chinese vessel shadowing. However, a source from the PCG said the shadowing of the Chinese vessel is only normal in the area. In the related development, a Chinese vessel used a water cannon against a Filipino boat during its resupply mission in the BRP Sierra Madre, also in Ayungin Shoal on Sunday morning. Meanwhile, as the mothership of the convoy prematurely returned to Palawan, the convoy's resupply boat, MV Chawi, arrived at Lawak Island around 5 a.m. today after successfully evading Chinese vessels in the area. Organizers said they're now dropping off their donations to the island. Neil? Mm -hmm. Eric, so based on your report, no, nakita natin na isa doon sa mga supply boats or ships ay nakarating doon sa Lawak Island. But from my understanding, hindi lamang ito yung island na pupuntahan supposedly nitong convoy, nitong Christmas convoy. No? So how are they planning to move forward with this Christmas event? Yes, Neil. Uh, as of the moment, we're, we're still trying to determine that because the situation is uh, very fluid at the moment. Neil? Pero yung mga civilian na nakasama doon sa Christmas convoy, lahat ba yan ay nakabalik na dyan sa El Nido, Palawan? O mayroon bang mga civilians nakasama doon sa supply boat na nakarating doon sa Lawak? Okay, Neil. Based, based dito sa information na nakarating sa atin, uh, itong Kapitan Felix Oka, uh, expecting siyang bumalik dito sa may uh, San Fernando port at around uh, 12 p.m. So, alamin pa natin ngayon kung nakabalik na sila. Uh, on, on the part of the uh, MV Chawi, may mga ilang personnel doon na nagbigay ng regalo doon sa uh, Lawak Island kaninang umaga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How about yung doon sa water cannon incident na nangyari uh, also yesterday, I believe, right? So, ano ang masasabi ng PCG doon sa nangyaring iyon? Because it seems like kahit pa ulit ulit yung ating uh, protests filed against China, pa ulit ulit yung pronouncements ni President Bongbong Marcos, it seems like the same thing keeps on happening over and over again. Okay, uh, yes, Neil, uh, for President Marcos, uh, sinabi niya na uh, itong insidente na ito ay mas lalong nagpapatindi ng determinasyon ng government na protektahan itong kanyang sovereign rights sa West Philippine Sea. Uh, ito naman si for Commodore J. Tarila, uh, sinabi niya na ginagawa ito ng China dahil akala nila makakalusot sila. Eh. Uh, at kaya... Uh, ginagawa nila ito dahil akala nila hindi pa palagang ang Pilipinas. Kaya ngayon, uh, sinasabi ni Commodore J. Terriella na uh, ginagawa nila, pinapaigting nila itong transparency initiative nila para expose itong mga activity ng China. Neil? Mm -hmm. I think it would be very interesting to ask Malacanang or even President Marcos himself if he's willing to take a more aggressive approach when it comes to our uh, conflict with China over there at the West Philippine Sea. Ingat kayo John Eric. Maraming salamat. That's John Eric Mendoza live from Palawan. The United States is once again upholding its commitment to its defense treaty with the Philippines following China's reckless maneuvers against Philippine vessels in the West Philippine Sea over the weekend. In a statement, a U.S. Department of State spokesperson Matthew Miller says the U.S. stands with the Philippines in the face of these, quote, dangerous and unlawful actions by China. In two separate incidents over the weekend, China fired water cannons and conducted reckless maneuvers against Philippine ships in the West Philippine Sea. President Bongbong Marcos himself said China's actions have steeled the country's determination to defend and protect its sovereignty and jurisdiction in the West Philippine Sea. For their part, Miller says China interfered in lawful Philippine maritime operations, undermining regional stability. According to Miller, China's actions not only reflect reckless disregard for the safety and livelihood of Filipinos, but also for international law. 
He then calls on China to abide by the legally binding 2016 arbitral decision. Transport Group Piston will hold another nationwide strike starting December 14 as they urge the Land Transportation Franchising and the Regulatory Board to junk the deadline for applying for franchise consolidation. Piston National President Modi Floranda says the strike is initially scheduled for December 14 to 15, but its duration will depend on whether or not LTFRB will heed their call. Piston is assailing the government's Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program and its mandate for drivers and operators to surrender individual franchises for consolidation. Consolidation means only one franchise held by a single cooperative or corporation will be permitted to operate on a specific route. Floranda says with the deadline set on December 31, LTFRB runs the risk of displacing thousands of drivers nationwide. According to Piston, approximately 80% of small-time operators may lose their jobs at the end of the year if LTFRB does not remove its deadline for franchise consolidation. Manila, opposition natin. Wala tayong tutol sa usapin ng modernization program. Ang inalabanan ay yung maliting pamuraan ng Estado na kung saan ay tatanggalan ng kabuhayan ang malaking porsyento ng mga driver at mga operator at patuloy Local oil firms announce a big-time rollback in the pump price of petroleum products effective Tuesday, December 12. In separate advisories, oil companies say the price of diesel will be slashed by 1 peso and 85 centavos per liter, while gasoline prices will be cut by 1 peso and 60 centavos per liter. The price of kerosene will likewise decline by 1 peso and 40 centavos per liter. According to the Department of Energy, this comes after the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries showed their weakening position on the extension of supply cuts.